Hey guys, what's up? Jake, the MMA dad. So, a couple days ago, we got into music reactions. Um, it's not the main focus of the channel, but it's something that's fun. It's something that I enjoy consuming um, myself. I have a lot of reaction channels that I personally follow, and I love watching um, their breakdowns of music because, you know, music is subjective. So, it's, it's up to the interpretation of the listener on what they're taking from the song. And obviously there's messages that the artists are trying to get through, but the way that we perceive those messages, the way that, that we take them in, it's just interesting hearing other people's reactions to similar or to the same music and seeing how they line up with yours. So my first ever reaction was to Tom McDonald's Gravestones. Um, I had a lot of fun making that video. Uh, it was kind of difficult to edit. I'm kind of new to the editing process. I do everything on my iPad through LumaFusion. So just kind of learning as I'm going. And that's one of the great things about doing these reaction videos is because they're fun. They give me a way to engage with people and they give me a little bit of practice when it comes to video editing. So today I'm going to get into some Upchurch. So I have heard some of Upchurch's um, stuff. I, I remember back when he and Screw were going at each other. Uh, I'm a big fan of diss tracks. I'm a big fan of like battle rap. I love the history behind it, which that's for a completely different video. Um, but so when Upchurch and Screw were going at it, I heard uh, those diss tracks. Uh, I heard of each of them like a couple of times. Um, and there is a song. Um, Die Tonight by Upchurch and Adam Calhoun that I love that song. I play it almost every day, at, at least once, either in my truck when I'm driving to do whatever or uh, when I'm working out in the gym. It's, it's on my gym playlist. And um, so I really enjoy Ryan Upchurch. I think that he gets his due from a lot of people, but then I think there's a lot of people who underrate him as a lyricist. And I really enjoy his content. I'm from Texas. I'm a country boy. So, you know, obviously the country rap or the hip hop or whatever um, you want to call it resonates with me. So when I'm hearing like uh, Upchurch and Calhoun and Struggle and Jelly Roll and people like that, like I, I can relate to that really well just because I, I am a country boy. So the song that we're getting into today, though, is going to be Upchurch said... If it right, I'm gonna try and keep it as clean as I can. Um, I don't know much about this song. I have seen through scrolling through YouTube that some of the reaction channels I follow are, you know, their thumbnails or whatever say like Up Church is fed fed up with it. Um, you know, he's being blackballed or whatever. So uh, I'm interested to see what it is, man. It, it's always it's always fun and it's always uh, <laughs> a great. A uh, song when Ryan is on his uh, like I just don't I just don't give a damn um, bag. So I'm excited to see uh, what it is, man. So without further ado, we are going to jump into Ryan Upchurch said it. Oh, they go be mad. Fuck award shows, fuck the radio, and the new up and comer and his female clothes. With his glitter on his face and his free written song. He ain't from around here, and neither is his ball. Fuck the guy in the office with his jerry curl, and his hands super soft like a teenage girl. Fuck social media and them long hashtags, which a bitch made out and cover looking like a <laughs> Yeah, I said the word fuck in a song with a charts, probably breaking beta mail, where he could break your heart. With the mocha lattes and sparkly blue stars sitting in the room trying to fucking talk like us. Okay, so already, man, the video is hilarious. We all know that Ryan is, uh, has is definitely a comedian in in and of himself, man. Um, sorry, my camera is kind of tripod is kind of giving out on my camera a little bit. So uh, we all know that uh, Ryan could easily be a stand up comic if he wanted to. 
Um, the guy is super, super funny. And obviously, man, he's taking shots um, at the industry, right? Um, talking about <laughs> the record label exec with his with his Jerry Curl and his and his, his his girly hands and stuff. And uh, I'm here for it, man. Um, I think the independent artists are the way to go. Um, and you know, it's funny being a police officer, but I still. I love music where he's kind of like sticking it to the man, which for him is the is the music industry. Um, so yeah, man, I'm here for it. Ryan, uh, definitely uh, bringing out the comedy, uh, especially in this video. We don't need another pretty boy singing pretty songs. What up, Luke? You doing all right, bro? Mm. This supposed to be Luke Combs? Mm. No? Okay, well, suit yourself. You act like it broke your heart or something. Okay, so obviously that was a shot at Luke Combs. So I know, I haven't heard the song, but I know that uh, that Upchurch and Luke Combs were on a song together. And I know Luke has like, uh, you know, made it big in Nashville. I don't know much about what's gone on between Luke and, and Ryan. Um, I, I like Luke's music, man. Uh, I love the the songs that Luke uh, puts out, but obviously that was a shot at Luke Combs because he comes up, he offers him a beer. He says, oh, you act like it broke your heart or something because Luke Combs has that song, Ice Cold Beer, Never Broke My Heart. Um, so he's taking shots at Luke. I don't know if they had like a falling out or if, um, you know, like Ryan, because he doesn't, you know, he doesn't like the industry. Maybe he doesn't like that Luke uh, has kind of gone more mainstream uh, here lately. I don't know, but that was definitely a shot at Luke Combs. So it I haven't heard any of, of Upchurch's actual like um more country songs. Uh I know that he jumps back and forth between like um different genres. The man's multi-talented. He can do rap, he can do country, he can do I heard he's he's done some rock covers. I haven't checked any of those out. So if there are any of those that would be good for me to check out, uh, could please put them down in the comments so I can kind of start getting a list together of like some of the songs um, that I should listen to um, in in all three genres. If and, and if he does more and more, but you know, let me know some good rap songs. Let me go know some good country songs and and some good rock songs that Ryan's done, and I'll definitely like to check those out because those are all three genres of music that I myself uh, love and enjoy. So that would be kind of cool to, to see him uh, uh, go through that. I've, I've only really heard him f from a country standpoint on some of the hooks um, that I've heard, but I I've heard that he, he makes really, really good uh, country music as well. So um, let me know about that and we'll check those out also. Okay, who's he taking uh, shots at now? Hey, what do you know? Trying to start a fire, it's getting chilly. Getting chilly? It's getting dark. What, you lost or something? Yeah, I've been out here for hours. Where'd you come from? Hey, I'm gonna be honest. No, 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 you need to go that way. You need to get out of here, dude. If they find out a country singer was lost in the woods, fucking C&T gonna eat this up, fucking. So, who, who is that one supposed to be? Um, was that supposed to be... Um, Man, I don't know why I can't think of his name right now, but sings uh, Heaven 
and um, uh, just lose it. I don't know why I can't think of his name. Is that is that who that was supposed to be? Uh, I guess is he taking shots at, at him as well, saying that you know basically you're not you're not really country because if you were lost out here in the woods, you wouldn't be able to survive. You just play country. Is that what he's trying to say? Because um, I actually like those songs as well, but um, if that's the case, I can, I can definitely see where Upchurch is coming from because there are people out there who will portray themselves to be country, but they're not country. Like if you were to take them out on the river, they're, they're not going to know, they're not going to know how to run a trial line. They're not going to know how to, how to do things that we do out in the country. Right. So I can definitely see where Ryan would have like a little bit of, uh, animosity kind of towards that from a sense of like, I'm really country and the mainstream doesn't want to hear what I have to say, but you'll take guys who claim to be country, but aren't really country. And you're like, you know, putting them all out there. So I, I could definitely see where, um, where Ryan would be, uh, coming from, from that standpoint of, um, I'm country and he's not. So Kane Brown, Kane Brown, that's who I was thinking of. So was that a shot at Kane Brown? Let me know. church shouts out to the to the chicken there so yeah man um first of all i want to say that ryan looks like he would be a blast to hang out with um the few videos that i've seen him in um everything looks fun man he's got four wheelers he's got he's got the cars like i said he's country so he and i would get along uh fantastic um, shout out to, uh, Creek Squad, man. Like, I, I know that's, uh, that's the name of all of his followers. And, you know, I, I haven't been on the, on the, um, on his catalog all that long, but, uh, I mean, I could definitely see myself, uh, considering myself a member of Creek Squad because everything that I have seen from Ryan, I, I absolutely love. And I just... I enjoy Ryan himself, man, just as a dude. He seems like a really cool, really down to earth guy. Um, everything I've heard about him is he is like, he's all about, you know, helping out like his friends and, and everybody else. So that that's a big deal to me as well. So yeah, Ryan, uh, I I love the song. The music video is, is hilarious. I love the, the message that you're trying to get across and the stance that you're trying to take. Like, why is country music not embracing real country living artists who grow up and live that, sorry, and live that life of being a, uh, a an individual from the country, but also makes amazing music. Like why is, is Ryan not getting his, his dues when people who just sing about that life who might not really be living it are getting like all this, all this push behind them. So, I mean, I can personally see, see why, why he's doing that and why he's coming out. But I'm here to tell you, Ryan, like, I don't think you need them, man. I, I think that as an independent artist, I think that 
you yourself getting to call your own shots, getting to make the music how you want to make it is, um, is like 100% like the way to go. And I will say this, if you and like Adam and like Struggle and, and Tom or any combination of you guys ever like put out a song that was like kind of geared towards like the, the, the combat sports world, 100% I would love to use that as uh, as my walkout song when I'm walking to the cage. So uh, Creek Squad, whoever, like um, if that's a way that I can help get Ryan and, uh, and and these guys' music out there is through like having different songs of theirs as my walkout song to the cage or as my walkout songs to any of the BJJ tournaments or anything like that that I'm gonna be doing re here really soon. Um, let me let them know and uh, I would and let me know if there's any songs that you guys think would already be kind of like appropriate um, to do that. So, yeah, with that being said, I love the song. Shouts out to Ryan Up Church. Um, shouts out to Creek Squad. Uh, shout out to everybody who has subscribed to this channel and has been reaching out to me in the comments. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And um one thing I think I would like to do too is because I'm in the gym so much between martial arts and strength and conditioning is I would like to start a playlist of songs that you guys think from independent artists on YouTube would make awesome workout music. So like when we do these reactions, if I'm really feeling it and I'm really liking the song and I think it would be awesome for that playlist, then I'll let you guys know, hey man, this makes the workout playlist and I'm going to start using it like when I'm training and stuff like that. So I don't want to keep you guys too much longer. I know I ramble a lot. Um, that's just how I am. I talk when, when, uh, when I feel like I, I, I have a good relationship with some people and hopefully I have a good relationship with everybody that watches the channel. But that being said, Ryan Upchurch said, fuck it. Uh, with a double G I'm, I'm using Ryan's little way of getting around the F word there. Uh, great video. See you guys on the next one.